Now from the beehive cluster, let's bring it back towards our own solar system and see what the moon and the planets are up to this month. Uranus is lost in the sun's glare, but if you have an unobstructed view towards the west-northwest, you may be able to see Jupiter very low over the horizon during the first few days of the month. Mercury will appear 2 degrees to its right on the 7th, but the pair may be challenging to spot. Mercury then climbs further from the sun and will be an easy target during the last 10 days of the month, and a crescent moon will be nearby on the 26th. Mars is visible in the west two to three hours after sunset, while Saturn and Neptune rise in the early hours of the morning and are observable telescopically from the second half of the month. Venus is now a conspicuous sight in the east for early risers, with a waning crescent moon some way to its left in the pre-dawn twilight on the 22nd. June's strawberry full moon occurs in Ophiuchus in the early hours of the 11th and a new moon happening on the 25th. 